happy Friday to you. Low clouds, fog, haze, you name it. It's been kind of a gray day here in the valley. Soupy conditions galore and taking a look at temperatures across the region. Well, this is what we see. First and foremost, near 40 degree readings in the oil patch in the western Dakotas and rainfall there. As we slide to the east, though, temperatures drop below freezing. That means that ground is freezing. The road surfaces and sidewalks are freezing. And get into parts of central Minnesota, it's still cold. We're talking teens in Bedette, 27 Fargo, 25 Fergus Falls, and again, Jamestown, 27 degrees. There have been reports of some icy conditions between Valley City and uh, Jamestown, as well as up north in that same stretch from Devil's Lake and maybe the uh, Laramore area. And here is a look at Langdon. The radar is actually starting to pick up a little bit of mixed precipitation. The pink you see here, some freezing rain and some sleet as well possible making its way into Langdon. More on this because it could be a slippery mix of conditions setting up overnight. But right now, south winds 15 to 20 miles per hour across the region. Those winds are southeasterly in parts of central Minnesota, keeping things a little cooler there. Here is a look at Fargo's current conditions. Out at Hector International Airport, it looks like a 27 degree reading. Factor in the winds and it feels like 14, so still a bundle up kind of evening here in the Southern Valley. Grand Forks much the same if you're heading out to the good old hockey game. Well, 24 degrees outdoors and a southeast wind at 18 miles per hour. Here's your hour by hour forecast. First and foremost, this evening, for everyone quiet, we'll call it cold in central Minnesota and northwest Minnesota with a few single digits and teens. Temperatures fall early this evening for many of us, but as we head toward the late night hours, south winds gusting to 20 miles per hour, maybe 30 miles per hour, will start warming things up. Look what sets up, though after the midnight hour. So if you are out at the hockey game and traveling home late at night, be advised we could have some areas of freezing rain making its way through the central Red River Valley between midnight and 4 a.m. And by the time we get to 6 a.m., this will be pushing off into Lakes Country, leaving a light dose of freezing rain to be followed up by some flakes of snow by daybreak. It looks like a chance of isolated flakes of snow on top of some slippery conditions. Here's a look. Snow in the Red River Valley and Otter Tail County and Lakes Country all the way up toward Bedette where we could see some lighter flakes out there to start your Saturday. So it starts out slippery and as we go toward the mid-morning hours, the best chance of snow shifts its way into Minnesota. This is paused at midday. Bemidji, at all the way down towards the Brainerd area, we'll have a chance of some flaky weather moving in. But look at these temperatures on the back side. A warm front pushes through. We're talking mid 30s out to the west and cloudy with flakes and temperatures warming out of the teens for you in central Minnesota. So the warm up does come at a cost, and that will be slippery roads. Please, please. Be very cautious with your travel. Gusty winds set up behind the system from the northwest to 40 miles per hour. A wind advisory for the far west, that's it. A few flakes flying in the forecast as we head through our Saturday evening. Take a look at this. The pink colors you see here is the potential for accumulating ice. Where you see the deep pink colors, we could have around a tenth of an inch of ice on the roads covered up by just a little bit of snow. The numbers you see here, snowfall potential. So most of us get under an inch of snow. But it's that ice that could set up and cause slippery conditions we want you to be aware of. Here's your planning forecast, southeast North Dakota. By 5 o'clock, the northwest winds will be quite gusty, dropping temperatures into the low 30s. And it looks like temperatures will also be in the low 30s with a chance of spotty, flaky activity for much of northwest and western Minnesota. 29 with a few flakes in Bemidji, 30 in Thief River Falls. As we gander off towards the westbound areas of Highway 2, 32 for Grand Forks, 31 in Devil's Lake, but very windy conditions moving in late Saturday. That'll lead to some cooler Sunday weather. Get out and enjoy, though. It won't be as windy. We're talking under 15 miles per hour and 29 degrees. So that's pretty enjoyable. Martin Luther King Day. It looks like a good start to the week at 31 degrees, a chance of a few flakes here and there. The next chance of snow holding off till the end of the work week, Mike Morgan. So a good week to get outdoors. And I don't know what you do. Uh, yeah, not much snow to scoop. Not much uh, of any of that to be concerned about. And that's okay with me. Just take it easy. Take it in and take it easy. Take it in, take it easy. Watch out for Saturday morning ice. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm. Coming up later in sports, can the Bison men's basketball team respond after its first Summit League loss? Up next, Viking fans, your long-awaited stadium continues to be built. We'll have a progress report for you.